Suppose we have two fair coins having equal chances of head and tail, then probability of head is equal to 0.5 and probability of tail is equal to 0.5. Now we can calculate joint probability. Joint probability of first event to be head and second event to be tail. This is equal to 0 0.5 into 0 0.5 multi by multiplying these two probabilities equals 0 0.25. Conditional probability conditional probability is denoted as P x equal to H given that Y equal to tail. It means if it is fixed that the second event is tail then you want to calculate the probability of first event. Let me write all the combinations. First coin is having head on it. Second coin is also having head on it. First coin has a H. Second coin has T. First coin has T. Second coin has H. Both the coins are having tail on it. So if we want to calculate the probability of head when the second coin is having tail on it. The total number of events that are meeting this condition are 2. Out of these 2, the favorable event is 1. So the total probability can be calculated by then the probability is 1 by 2, it is equal to 0.5. We can also write the probability in terms of intersection probability of first event to be head intersection the probability of second event to be tail this can also be represented in the terms of conditional probability probability of x equal to h given the probability of y equal to t if we multiply this pro this is also equal to p y equal to t given x equal to h into the probability of x equal to h. Equating these two equations, these two terms, we have p x equal to h given y equal to t into p y equal to t equals p y equal to t given x equal to h into p x equal to h. Allow me to write the same formula p x given y is equal to p y given x times p x divided by p of y. This is very important formula and known as Weyl's theorem. Let us discuss Bayesian classification. Suppose we have a class and there are some students in the class, maybe boys or girl, and some students are coming from the class and we have to predict that out of 60 students, 20 students were girls who came out of the class and 40 students were boys. 
who were come out of the who who came out of the class. So obviously, if we calculate probability, then the probability of the student to be boy will be equal to 40 divided by 60, and the probability of the student to be girl is equal to 20 divided by 60. So in this case, we can see if we make a decision rule, if we make a decision rule, decision rule, then this rule, if the, if the rule we select is, if we make a decision rule, that if the probability of boy is greater than the probability of girl, then we will predict in the favor of boy's class. Suppose class omega 1. And if the probability of boy is less than the probability of girl, we will predict in the favor of girl's class. So according to our probability is calculated so far or according to observing the pattern we have seen so far, we will always predict in the favor of boys because the probability of boys is greater than the probability of girls. So we can see, we know that girls are there in the room and girls may come out of the room but we will always predict that the student that is coming next will be boy because the probability of boy is greater than the probability of girl. This decision rule is not adequate for predicting the next student in this particular case. Let us use Bayes formula or Bayes decision theory which says that given a feature set X for that particular feature set we want to calculate the probability of a particular student to be boy or to be in class omega 1. It is equal to probability of feature set X for a particular class omega 1 into the probability of class omega 1 divided by the probability of feature set X where P omega 1 of X is probability density function probability density function the while probability density function can be drawn like this for a particular class suppose this function is drawn for class omega 1 and for different values of x we get different values of probabilities corresponding probabilities let us take height for let us take height for example for this particular value of x, the probability that a student belongs to class omega 1 is maximum. As the value of x is increasing, the probability of that student to be in class omega 1 is decreasing. And if the value of x is decreasing, the probability of that student to be in class, of class omega 1 also decreasing. So in both the classes, the in both the cases, the probability is decreasing for this particular value of x, which is x, which is h this time, is the maximum. Let us discuss the same example. The students who came out of the class are having height like this. The girl students were having height 138 centimeter, 140. Similarly, the boys are having heights 158, 157, 158, and so on. Now from the room the students who are coming, we have some information. Suppose we are able to observe the height of the student and a particular student who is coming out is having height 137. Now we want to calculate the probability that that particular student is boy using this base formula. We have to classify that student into one of the categories. So we want to calculate the probability that the particular student belongs to class omega 1 given the height of the student is equal to 137. Now Bayes formula says that P probability this is equal to probability of x given omega 1. So probability of x omega 1 
how it can be calculated the value of x is 137 so this is equal to probability of 137 in class omega 1 into probability of omega 1 divided by the probability of x now probability of 137 omega 1 will be what how many events were there where the probability was 137 1 2 3 and the total events 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so this is equal to 3 over 9 3 divided by 9 into probability of omega 1 there are two classes then clearly the probability of omega 1 will be 0.5 divided by probability of 135 x is 135 let let me write this x equal to 1 sorry x is 137 so the probability of the value to be 137 is equal to 1 2 3 and 4 Total values 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So P 137 is equal to 4 divided by 17. So this will be will be the probability that the student belongs to class omega 1. Similarly, we can calculate the probability for that student to be in class omega 2. P of omega 2 given x equal to 137. This is equal to probability of 137 given class omega 2 into p of omega 2 divided by probability of x to be 137 now using the same values p of using the same value we can see that p of omega 2 sorry P of 137 given omega 2. This is equal to 137 is this. And uh, total number of values are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So this is 1 over 8. So this is equal to 1 over 8 into probability of omega 2 is 0 0.5 divided by probability of 137 it is also equal to probability of x equal to 137 is again 4 upon 17 obviously we can see that probability of omega 2 given x so this is the probability of the student to be in class omega 2 clearly we can see that the probability of omega 1 given x equal to 137 is greater than the probability of a student to be in class omega 2 when x for this particular value so we will predict that the student belong to omega 1 class means she belongs to girl class thank you